So you want me to start marketing my financial business? Yeah, I don't mind coming in if you want me to. <laughs> sure, why won't I? You know you're not my life coach. <laughs> my goodness, really? Um, let's pick a day we we'll go for the marketing. Should it be weekend? I don't think so. Let's go on Monday. Preferably when companies and stores will be open for business. <sighs> so where do we start now? I think we're gonna start by designing a portfolio for your brand first. Point of correction. Our brand, not mine. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Our brand, rather. <laughs> Better. You can go ahead now. <laughs> Funny, you. So, do you have any portfolio of your previous work? Sure, I do. But I don't have a registered company. Do you think that wouldn't be a big barrier, considering the fact that most of these big companies wouldn't want to do business with unregistered company? Don't worry about that. God will grant you favor. We rather. Correct that statement. <laughs> it's you now. Stop it. It's we, Joe. If it will be just be me, then I'm not doing. I'll not go do it again. <laughs> oh, heavens. This my guy. You're so funny. <laughs> but I don't want to do salary job again. You know I'm now married. I will start making babies with my husband anytime soon. I can't juggle all that. I want to start my own business while my husband continues with the salary work. We both can't be leaving the house together. Think about that, Dad. So you mean you want to start up a business of your own? Exactly, Dad. What kind of business do you intend doing? Coding business. I want to start buying and selling my foreign print words. Just ladies' wears? Yes, Dad. It's a good idea, but how urgent uh, do you want the money? This is what I don't understand. Why not have patience till next month? No, Dad. I really don't have the money. Latest by next week, Friday. Hmm. Why so soon? Because the person who wouldn't help me purchase the clothes will be traveling to China by Saturday next week. And I need to give her the money before then. I want her to help me buy the clothes because she would help me add my goods to her container. And it will save me the money I would spend on the shipments of the goods. Daddy, please, I need the money later by Friday. Since this year request is so urgent, how do you expect me to provide 500000 just within one week interval? Here! Daddy, you can do this. I trust you, Dad. You are my hero. Please don't let your girl down. <sighs> Alright, I will see what I can do about this. Wow, thanks, Dad. I will take that as a promise. I know you won't disappoint your girl. I love you, Dad. You are the best. MD has been released, though. Him don't decomport himself these days. <laughs> That's him keep misbehaving. Make him no comport himself. <laughs> Don't mind him. He came back and has been giving everyone attitude at the office. I'm not sure I'm pepper for that cell. No be small. He came back with some bruises on his body. They flogged him. Don't be silly. Chai, I'm really feeling for him. Extend my sympathy to him. <laughs> you must be joking. Please, I know get MD strength. How far now? I hope you are having a good time where you are. Sure, I'm super fine. How is the friend you are staying with? He's fine. Your friend is a he? Yeah, my friend is a guy. Really? I thought you said you were going to see a female friend. Um, yeah. But I later had a change of mind. I decided to go see my male friend. Oh, alright. Hope you are fine over there. I mean, no problem. Sure, no problem. Okay, oh, if any better G stop, don't forget to update your girl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's cooking. Once it's ready, I'll serve it the gist. Na person you be now. I said it the way you seem happy these days isn't ordinary. There must be a source of this happiness. And I was right. <laughs> oh, I can't say to <laughs> <laughs> Funny you, Jeanette. Daddy, why have you been slamming your face ever since you returned from the police station? Is that how we can be prisoners do? Jambo, if you don't leave me alone and stop harassing me, I will place a curse on you. Uh-uh. Daddy, what did I do? I was just bothered about your mood. Why do you want to curse me? Because you deserve it. Yes, you betrayed me. Uh-uh, Daddy. How did I betray you? I am not Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot is far more better than you. 
I would rather live in this house with Judas Iscariot than living in this house with you, this Jumbo. Wow, that means I am not Judas Iscariot's promise. Will you shut up before I strangle you? Daddy, you want to strangle me? You want to kill me? What did I do? In short, Jumbo, go and pack your bags and leave my house. And where will I go to? Anywhere you like, go to. I'm tired of you. It is a lie, oh. Daddy, you can't be tired of me. We are family. Haven't you heard that family sticks together forever? Daddy, I am not going anywhere. It is you and I together forever. May daughter stand your mouth together forever. Come on, get out of my sight. Wow. What a day. <laughs> oh yes, a productive day. I can't believe we got four whole prospective clients just today. <laughs> oh yes, we are super proud of ourselves. The journey was not in vain. Thanks dear for coming up with this great business idea. We make money move. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, we do. I can't wait to see the outcome of this. It will be so fulfilling. Ah, uh, you are indeed an angel. I have got to myself a staunch business partner who is more passionate about my business than I do. Wow, lucky me. <laughs> <laughs> we thank God for the success of this. It can only be him. Sure, God did it. Thanks to you too. The brain behind this. Oh, you are the best woman in the world. I confer that title on you. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? I'm not. I'm serious. You're amazing, sweetie. Oh, I need to get you some cold wine right away. <laughs> don't worry. I don't want to have that for now. I'm okay. So, what will you eat? Let me go and prepare it for you. I'm at your service today. Don't worry. Thank you, sir. <laughs> so, what will you be going for another advertisement? And then, when will you take samples to our prospective clients? <laughs> for the marketing, let's be doing this every Monday. And for the samples they requested for, I have few here with me, but we'll soon go get more of it. Later by Friday, I should have delivered them. Wow, that's my business tycoon talking now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, me, business tycoon. Oh. I'm feeling on top of the world right now. <laughs> <laughs> Funny you. I have sent the 500 k into your account. My dad just sent me the money this morning. Wow, thanks dear. You're a darling. You're welcome. So, when will you be doing the investment? Right away. Alright, will you be investing on the money? Sure, the investment requires 500,000. Oh, what will be the interest percentage you'll be expecting from it? 50% interest at the end of every month. Wow, that's great. So you'll be expecting returns of 250000 by next month. Exactly. That's good. Is this how you're going to be making profits on a monthly basis? Of course, the 50% interest is guaranteed at the end of every month. Wow, this is great. With this business, you don't even need to put up a salary job. It's lucrative. Oh yes, you're correct, dear. My husband is at the hospital already. Oh no, when did this happen? Just yesterday evening. He has been complaining about stomach issues for days now. I thought it was gastric ulcer that disturbs him at times. I didn't know it was appendix. My dear sister, my husband almost died though. It was God in his infinite mercy that delivered him. Hmm. Oh no, the devil is a loser. Yes, so a big loser. Chai, how is he now? Has he undergone the operation? Yeah. The doctors operated on him this morning. Hmm. Hope he's feeling better now. Yeah. He's recovering gradually. To God be the glory. Amen. No. If not for his mercy, what would I have done? Oh, thank God for your husband's life. So when will he be discharged from the hospital? I don't know. Because we haven't even finished paying the hospital bills. Oh, how much is the outstanding debt? About 300,000. Where do I get the money from? My dear, I'm still running around looking for where to borrow money from. I'm even contemplating of selling some of our properties in order to raise money for the hospital bills. Oh no, you can sell your property, sister. What will I do? How do I raise the money? Oh no, this is a huge temptation. I don't even know what to do. I need to run around and see if I can raise part of the money. 
run around in what way? Do you intend begging for money on the streets? I don't mind begging for money if that will be the only way I can raise this money. Oh no, you can't do that. What will I do, Anderson? I need to do something about this. Veronica is the only sibling I have. I can't watch her running helter skater. Hmm. Let me see what I can do. Um, we will both go to the hospital to see them. First thing tomorrow morning. Okay, so how do we get the money? Because we can't be going there empty-handed. You worry a lot, Benita. Calm down. God will provide. Let's get to the hospital first. Okay. I really want to see them. I hope he's recovering well. Sure he is. Stop forgetting, dear. A man is in good condition. Thank God the operation went successfully. He will definitely get back to his feet. Don't worry. God will provide the money. Amen. Thanks for the encouragement. Derek, I said I'm pregnant. But I thought we agreed not to have a baby for now until we are financially stable in this city. Derek, I am over 30 already. I need to start giving birth before I approach menopause. Please stop telling me that. Hmm. How old is this pregnancy? Four weeks. Hmm. It's obvious you aren't ready to look for a job in this city. But what need is the job? Come on. Why do I have to collect 500000 from my dad and give it to you if I will still be working in this house? Derek, you are the man here and your job is to provide financially. Why my one duty is to do domestic chores and multiply? Really? Oh, yes. <clears throat> okay, no wahala. So how far with the investment? How is it going? Going well. Expecting returns by month end. Alright, that's fine. My dad is already asked me about the goods I lied to him about. And what did you tell him? That the goods are yet to arrive. Lies will always be used to cover up lies. Mr. Anderson, thank you so much. I can't express my gratitude enough. God bless you for coming through for us. God bless you too, Mrs. Veronica. We are grateful to God for the privilege. Oh, Benita, help me thank your friend. He's such an amazing person. Sure he is. Anderson is the nicest man I've ever met. Oh, may God continue to bless and replenish your pockets. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Hope all the prescribed drugs for him has been purchased. Sure. We bought everything at the pharmacy this evening. Thank you. Yeah, we bought everything, but there is one we couldn't get. The doctor has promised to help us get that one. Okay, that's good. I'm glad that he's responding to treatment. Of course he is. The only challenge he's facing is the dieting aspect. My husband loves eating a lot. Asking him not to eat most of his favorite food has been the greatest punishment of his life. He always laments about that. Yeah, he would surely go back to his usual diet when he is fine. For sure he will. It's just a matter of some weeks. Oh yes. You shouldn't worry. God will perfect the rest of his healing. Amen. Thank you so much, Mr. Anderson. Babe, I've been calling you, but you weren't picking up your calls. What happened? Nothing. Nothing? Come on, talk to me. What is the problem? Your container isn't bright this evening. What's the problem? I do vex like this. Ha. Ah, what did they make you vex? Cynthia, don't worry yourself. Just let me be. You know that's not possible. How can I ignore you when I know that all isn't well? Cynthia, this is a bad news. I don't want to upset your mood. Bad news? Yes. And why should I know about the bad news? You might not like the news. Of course, no one likes bad news. Yet, one needs to hear it. Derek, please, can you open up and tell me what the news is about? Hmm? I am waiting, sir. <coughs> uh, it's about the 500k investment I did. Okay, I'm listening. What happened to it? I didn't know it was a composite scheme company. And they happened to be first class. Um, um, the money is gone. They did to me. Hey, what? 500k? Gone? Just like that? Hey, waiting I go there, my papa. Oh. oh, it's Anderson. Sister, please, few minutes. Let me take this call. All right. Hi there. <laughs> it is my rest. Ha, I'm coming now. Don't you want me to just go with my sister? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm coming back today. Sure, this evening. Oh, you need me chicken sauce. Wait a minute. Hope this is not your ploy to lure me back to that house. <laughs> ah, Anderson, this man. 
this man <laughs> don't worry i'm coming back what will i buy for you when i'm coming queen queen <laughs> you're not serious who will buy queen queen for you yeah my sister is fine she's over here with me all right i'll extend your regards to her see you soon sweetie have a nice day <laughs> no wow <laughs> What's wrong, my sister? So, with this kind of chemistry between the two of you, Anderson is still just a friend. <laughs> sister, calm down. You know what you think? We are what they call besties, best of friends. The more you look, the less you see. <laughs> <laughs> there is nothing hidden under the sun. Very soon, I will come for Omugo in that house. Two of you must be joking. Ah, sister! <laughs> Doctor, is this the breathing? Yeah, he is, but he's unconscious at the moment. Oh no, tell me, Doctor, will he be fine? Let's be hopeful, young lady. Your father had a severe heart attack. And at the moment, he's in a critical condition, but we'll keep trying our best to save his life. Oh no, Doctor, please help me save my father's life. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. He's all I have in this world. As you can see, young lady, we've been attending to him ever since he was brought in here. We promise to do our part as doctors. All your prayers does the rest. Oh God, help me. This can't be happening to me. Oh no. I'm Doctor, you mean he can't talk as he is now? Hey, Daddy, please don't do this to me. Oh. Oh. What kind of temptation is this? Whom has my father offended? This isn't fair. This is just an accident. I don't think anyone is behind this. Derek, this is the handwork of an enemy. Why would shipwreck or call this period the man use all his life savings to purchase goods? Why? Stop crying, dear. Let's keep praying for him. He will regain his consciousness. Oh, he couldn't bear the shock. Oh, Dad, please get well soon. I miss you. It's okay, Cynthia. Stop crying. Your father will soon get back on his feet. He's not dead. Life is full of ups and downs. We pray he recovers all that he lost. How is he going to recover then? How? Tell me. Sure, he will definitely recover then when he gets back on his feet. Hmm. I also heard that he borrowed millions from the bank to enable him purchase that container. Oh, where do he start? All his personal money gone. The loan he took gone. Oh, the bank would definitely come for their money. Why oh, would my father do no wonder he fainted when he heard the news? Hmm, this is so painful and pathetic. Let's just put our hope in God. Where there is life, there is hope. Will you be going to the hospital today? Yeah, I will be going, but I won't sleep over at the hospital because of my baby. Please, I'll leave the baby with you. I don't want to take him along. I might return late and I don't want to walk at night with the baby. Alright, you can leave him with me. I will take care of him, but please don't come back too late. All right. Wow, this is a dream come true. Finally, we are launching our company soon. It can only be God. <laughs> oh yes, to God be the glory. Honestly, I'm super proud of this accomplishment. Same here. This started as a dream, but today it has become a reality. For sure, hard work, determination, and consistency are the key ingredients for success. I'm so excited that we got all and here we are today, starting at our success. <laughs> you can say that again. So congratulations to Mr. Anderson. I hereby confer on you the title of a CEO. CEO of Funny Fabs. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And you too. The managing director of Funny Fabs. We did it darling. <laughs> oh, oh yes. And God did the most. <laughs> we can't wait to inaugurate this on Thursday. Oh yes, been making some arrangements lately concerning the inauguration. Thursday is going to be a memory day. May God keep us alive to witness that faithful day. Amen. We pray so. It's definitely going to be a colorful event. Sure, it's going to be one of the memorable days of my life and you. Sure, same with me. <laughs> Now I understand why they said, behind every successful man, there is always a supportive woman. Benita, you are a superwoman. Thanks for inspiring me. You're most welcome. You're a superhero, my dear. Let's go in and take a look at the environment. Sure, why not? 